polluted, rainy, and business-oriented. Let's face it, a trip to Bogota hardly sounds appealing, and many travelers don't bother to probe much further than this bleak reputation, seeing Bogota either as somewhere to be skipped out altogether or as merely a logistical blot on a more exciting itinerary. Welcome to another episode of Lavish Anthology. Subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with the latest uploads. Let's get into today's video. 4. For Real Coffee Colombian coffee is world famous, but as new arrivals quickly learn, the best produce is exported. Hold your disappointment. A number of cafes in Bogota are working hard to address this. Leading the way is Azahar, a cafe founded by travelers who wanted to re-establish the connection between coffee, local farmers, and Colombian people. A shipping container houses the cafe, repurposing the very vessel that is so often associated with taking the best beans away from the country, and here, using it to serve great coffee back to Colombians. This care and passion trickles down to the product. Each single origin coffee served is traceable back to an individual farmer with the bag, detailing information about the farmer and the plantation. There's even a QR code that links to a video of the farmer, explaining what makes their coffee oh so special. 3. For the great gourmet pleasures There's been an explosion of culinary creativity in Bogota. From quickie hybrid ventures to smarter joints, where Nuevo Colombiano chefs are experimenting with traditional ingredients and international techniques, Colombia's capital is a great place for a feed, with each neighborhood harboring its own foodie vibe. La Candelaria has a number of small, creative places tucked away down its winding, graffiti splash streets. A small space with an exposed brick bar, Sant just has an innovative, daily-changing menu that blends French cuisine with Colombian ingredients, served up with enormous proportions. A few streets away, La Pelicaria is an exciting blend of edgy cafe, hairdresser, and creative space for emerging artists. In La Macarina, a village absorbed by the big city neighborhood, there's a clutch of international restaurants, one of the best being Tapas Macarina, a tiny, charming spot for authentic Spanish cuisine. To the north, Zona Rosa and Park A93 hold Bogota's smarter dining. Amongst the competition, Central Cevicheria is up there with the best, serving zingy ceviche in a cool space, decked out with bare wood and industrial lighting. 2. For innovative urban cycling One word, Ciclovia. This is the stuff urban cyclists dream of. A day when you can ride through car-free city streets. In Bogota, this happens every week when Ciclovia clears the traffic from 76 miles of roads right across the city center. Every Sunday, more than 2 million people come out to reclaim the tarmac. Cycling, joggling, rollerblading, dog walking, and strolling with push chairs. While Rico Via fills the parks and paths with free yoga and aerobic classes, the program has been running since 1974, with such success that other Colombian and international cities are now following suit. For Bogota, this is about more than just exercise and a break from the mind-numbing traffic-clogged streets. In a society where the gap between rich and poor is so great and so much emphasis lies on the status of owning a car, this is the perfect leveler and social integration at its best. 1. For the street art Sao Paulo, London, Valparaiso, Montreal, some cities are well known for their street art. But amongst the artistic community, Bogota is up there with the best, with international artists flocking to its streets to contribute to its thriving scene. Bogota doesn't just accept art, it actively encourages it with neighborhood commissioned pieces, privately funded works, and local schools hiring street artists to teach classes. While there's art all over the city, it's La Candelaria, Bogota's oldest neighborhood, where it's most concentrated. Here, the narrow, cobbled streets have become a canvas for artistic expression. Buildings are cloaked in colorful works, from strikingly lifelike faces to bizarrely endearing flying potatoes. But the creativity doesn't stop at eye level. The tiled rooftops are littered with strange statues, a juggler on a unicycle wobbling along the edge of a roof, a figure sitting with a banana dangling from a fishing rod. Bogota Graffiti Tour is the best introduction to this dynamic culture, led by guides who are all closely involved in the street art community. 
The free tour, Donations Welcome, explains the historical and socio-political context behind each piece and the collective culture, and introduces the styles of the city's most compelling artist. From Guache's multicolored, often dreamlike focus on indigenous issues, to Toxi Comano's hard-hitting anti-capitalist and anti-imperialist driven pieces. And with that, we've reached the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video and found it interesting, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.